was Daniel Wright. Welcome to Condition by Kia. So this is my second day on the 10 day Daniel fast where I am testing out if I can get stronger when, and reach my strength goals within these 10 days of eating nothing but vegetables, fruit, and water. Today's focus is gonna be foundational strength. As with any good fitness program, you need to work on the pillars of your foundational strength. So, meaning you need to work on your largest muscle groups so that way you can support your body and help with your forms for other exercises. So, the largest muscle groups of your body are going to be your back and your glutes. Those two muscle groups are incredibly important. You need a strong back because you need to be able to hold up your posture whether you're sitting or standing. And as well, you need a strong back so that way when you do exercises that have hinge points, or that have just a static hold, you need to be able to squeeze those muscles along the spine and in the front of the abs. So that is why you need a strong back to help support your posture. As for the glutes, you definitely need to have strong glutes to help you support your lower body. So that way when you do squats, you can help yourself with better form and as well with other leg exercises. And for this 10 day fast, I decided to pair my foundational strength day with this amazing verse right here from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. When you're building your foundational strength, you need to make sure that you have a focus-driven purpose. So in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, it says, Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. So when you're working out and you're perfecting your pillars of strength and gaining strength in your back and your glutes and your legs and your chest, remember you need to have a big foundational reason as to why you want to get those muscles stronger and make sure that that why is very important and deep rooted into your heart so that way later on down the road during those hard days it will be easier to get back up and get back on track all right as for the nutrition part of the day today my diet consisted of a breakfast of oatmeal which was a cup of oats and a cup of mixed berries warmed up and mixed together my lunch was a smoothie again and this one was two handfuls of the spring mix that I have and a handful of frozen fruit it's like a mixed bag of fruit that I have and a scoop of organic peanut butter which is just peanut and sea salt and mix that with water and then blend it up and it was actually pretty good and then for dinner just rice with black beans that I made fresh and so half an avocado with some mixed vegetables. And that was a pretty perfect dinner. Um, as for snacks, just some random vegetables in there, snacking on broccoli, snacking on carrot sticks. Um, other than that, that's really what I would snack on. But that was today's nutrition. Um, now onto the workout. All right, so this is gonna be my back and legs workout. I do believe as a fitness coach that you need to strengthen the largest muscle groups of the body so that way you can help support the whole rest of your body so the two largest muscle groups are going to be your back your glutes and your legs so this workout is going to be back and legs and glutes all together in one using nothing but a set of dumbbells now any of these moves you can substitute with a cable or a long cable I should say and all you have to do is just step on the cable and mimic the actions and it does the same work you just have to flex your back really nicely so how I roll with this workout is I do the first two and then I superset them until I get about three to four sets in and then I do the same thing for the next two and the next two and then the last one, the seventh one, which is the side lunge rows, those ones I do a set of 20, breathe for 30 and then repeat again. So that was kind of like a mini burnout and that would be my leg workout for today. Alright, so this first one is going to be a row on a squat. I just want to make sure that my knees are unlocked this whole time. Come down into a squat, throw it, and come back up. And then squeezing the glutes with the knees still slightly bent, that way you don't use the activation on the glutes. So down, squeeze your back, 
squeeze your glutes on the up. Down, back squeeze, up, glute squeeze. Right, this is a deadlift back fly, deadlift down to the feet, keeping the back nice and straight, back fly, deadlift down, hands are like palms facing each other, it's a different way to do a back fly, you're not in a full hinge position, but you are using the back of the shoulders. This one's gonna be a split squat row. Get into your split squat position or split stance position, making sure the knees are unlocked. Get down into your squat or lunge squat and then row it up. Lunge squat, squeeze your back and row it up. Now my hand is at a 45 degree angle, so the thumb is not completely forward, but not completely sideways. Alright, so this one is going to be a calf raise with a shoulder rotation. The shoulder rotation is going to squeeze the back pretty good. So the calf raise, squeeze your calves, rotate your shoulders as you go around in a circle, squeezing the back of the shoulders. It's important to let the calves feel the flex. So you go slow on the calf on the return instead of fast. And it's important to keep your legs unlocked. This one is going to be a split stance deadlift with a back fly. So you're going to come down, give it a back fly, come on up.
Now let's do the other side. This one is a squat gold flex. That's what I like to call it. So I start with my dumbbells in front of me, palms facing each other, and then down in front of the chest, just like that. Three. I'm going to the squat. Squeeze my back up like a gold post. Up and squeeze the glutes. Down. Squeeze my back like a gold post. Up and squeeze the glutes. That's two. So this one's going to be a side lunge row. So I place my dumbbells just inside of my feet. Side lunge, unlock the straight leg, row it up and over and row it. Well, thank you so much for joining me for my day two. Um, I am looking forward to my day three and seeing how much more progress I can gain. Um, so far, this is pretty good. It's working well, and I do feel pretty good all around at the moment. So I look forward to seeing you on day three. Hope to see you there. Have an awesome and wonderfully blessed day.